All right, this is a video on how to play line three of long, long ago. So first, let's review what the right hand is on line three. So make sure that you can play that right hand easily not where you're pausing to reach down or find this note or anything. So I would play that right hand, just this part, five to 10 times, just to get ready. And this is a good practice learning speed. You can do the dynamics too. If you need something else to think about, if you're getting bored just playing this, the first group is loud. The second group is quiet. The thumbs down here are always very quiet. So I would play just that five to 10 times. Now the left hand is a little easier. It's two sad faces, which is the B Alberti pattern, two happy faces, which is the C Alberti pattern, two sad faces, two happy faces. And that's a good practice speed. Don't play it any faster. I would play it since it's a little easier, maybe only five to seven times. But I would still practice just that so you can get ready to put hands together. All right, then just one more right hand, just do the first part. So like here. Just to have it in your head. All right, so you're, we're gonna do just this part with a sad face. And you can hear that this first note holds for two. So make sure you're really good at that. Make sure you can do this before you go on. Now you're gonna do this part. So practice just this. This is a great drill. Just do it a lot of times. And it's gonna go with a sad face. So make sure you can do just this. It feels really out of context, but being able to play just this part will really help. So remember this part, remind yourself of it by playing it a couple times, then play this part a couple times, then try putting them together. See how I'm moving my whole hand over? Try that. I would do this. I would do it 10 times until you're able to do it easily and keeping that thumb quiet. All right, now the ending. Play this a few times. And it's gonna go with happy face, two happy faces. All right, make sure you can do that easily. It feels easy, doesn't mean it needs less practice. If you need something else to work on, you can work on getting quieter as you go down. So even the loud one gets quieter as it goes down. Then when you are confident with both sections, put them together. Make sure you practice that a lot. Just one of them, not playing it twice. So do one. Take a break, do it again and repeat that maybe 10 times. Then you're gonna try to put the whole line together. And um, practice it a lot. It's very tricky to move your hand between here and here. Um, don't reach your hand, don't reach, even if you can reach, even if you're an adult student and reaching to here is easy. It's teaching you a technique. 
first of all, stretching from here to here, you're not fully over your thumb and it'll be harder to play your thumb quiet. Second of all, one of the main purposes of this song is to teach you how to move your hand back and forth. So if you're reaching, it's not actually teaching what it's supposed to. But the main reason is these thumbs need to be very quiet. And the best way to achieve it is by having your whole hand supporting your thumb movement. All right, hope it helps.